Watson. Let's get it started. Isaiah Roby wins the tip. Roby kicks to the corner for James Palmer Jr. Fifth year senior who is stout against Clemson with 20. And he draws an early lead, Mike. They put teams on the line. The opposition averages 25 free throw attempts per ball game. That's coming on an average of 20. Roby signals he's all right. I think he might have one of the freshmen. 15 in the navy blue. Matched up with Borkhart backing down. He has excellent footwork. And he gets the... Ball screen from Isaac Copeland Jr. Palmer to the basket. Free throw attempts last year. And also has increased his percent of the top initially. Palmer poked it away. Thomas Allen knifes to the paint with a floater. Staff of the next dead ball. Ayo Tosumu had it blocked. Watson races back. Watson lays it in. Both part is filled in admirably. While Roby was being tended to. Good look by Palmer. Back out Watson for three. Car came in and did a nice job on both ends. Had a block, secured a rebound as well. Another Illinois turnover. Allen back the other way. And he draws a killing defender. You have Reload. Nebraska 5 of 5 at the line so far in these first two and a half minutes. That switch with a good communication in the half court set defensively by Nebraska. There's Trent Frazier tweaked an ankle against Notre Dame, but he is good to go. And he goes to Pernickel. Palmer back out to Copeland. He's had an excellent start to his season. Watson, back door on the baseline. Princeton field there. That's an automatic dive. When you dribble at your teammate on the wing, that's an automatic dive. They don't open up. And a nice delivery from Roby. Shanishvili comes to miss the shot. And the rebound brought down by the Illini. And Illinois in that possession was really locked in defensively. Much better movement of the personnel. Jordan for three. He was shooting 60% from deep. So you have to find him even in transition. Make him put the ball on the floor. Copeland into the lane. Draws the ball. Scoring is dried up for Nebraska. They've gone four minutes and 47 seconds between points. Going deep into his bench early. Just trying to find some players. Not necessarily they're going to give them an offensive boost. But you know he was not into those baskets early on from Nebraska were uncontested. They seem to be a step slow defensively. That is picked up here on that end of the fourth. Trent Frazier matched up on Glenn Watson Jr. back into the ballgame. Frazier coming off a game where he was held to six points and really struggled from behind him to 0 6 and utilized that dribble. Roby is on Bashanishvili and a turnover. Roby starts the break. Here's Amir Harris with the flush. You are high on his oh. potential. I, if you were a stock, I'd buy it because he, there is so much potential there, and he shows flashes of it from time to time. Consistency's been the thing. That, he's been the thing that's kind of held him back. He's got the assist there to James Palmer Jr. for three, and it's a 7-0 run. Harm you from the foul line. winner when a couple of north of 50 percent in that area of his game foul shooting has been a struggle for him so far early in his career under 60 percent from the line copeland off the cross oh, by illinois defensively keeping the ball exclusively on the right side did not allow a ball reversal only had to defend half their defensive real estate frazier swings it back to nichols good on his second points to this offensive attack and on the flip side of it is you see frazier check out that's what the unending ball pressure does for illinois know where you're at. Alan Griffin throws it up for De La Rosa. Draws a foul. Hard a target to look at. You want to eat too. And we talked about the <laughs> coming up on the dinner time hour and in the Fox Sports app. Well, they've got a mismatch over here. They don't take advantage of it. Instead, it's up three. Pass down there around his waist. You need to get it up toward his chest or toward the rim. Double-digit turnovers now for the Illini. Copeland down the lane with a left hand. Georgetown, and even through the first part of last year, after he sat out that transfer year, you know, he was kind of trying to shake the rust off. He can miss from the charity strike for them this half. Jordan off the shot fake, steps into a long two and hits it. Really nice utilize his length and then most importantly after he made that rhythm dribble he didn't rush his jump shot. 
Roby wants the lob. Roby gets the lob and lays it in and the foul. From Dixon, Illinois. He's been good at the free throw line. With the straight Final minute here of this first half in Lincoln. Homer's got 12 for the Huskers. The lazy Again, Nebraska 12 of 14 at the free throw. His basketball IQ. There's that handoff at the post you see much of with this Illinois offense. And into the post, right on cue for the freshman to go to the free throw. Going to a teammate, but is he a good fit for that? Yeah, because he's, he hasn't necessarily shown it consistently, but he's got a nice jump shot from the 15. Talked all about free throws through that first half. 16 free throw attempts for Nebraska. Only four for the Illini in the first half. Bashanish Billy with the steal in the bucket. So less than two minutes into the second half, Roby to the bench. Trent Frazier. Frazier's been good at the line so far. This in his work ethic and his ability to just continue to get better and better. As he did Monday against Clemson, too. He played 16 minutes off the bench. Allen tried to go back door again. Nebraska had some success with that in the first half. Watson still in with his three foul by Watson because he didn't dribble into trouble going one dribble too deep into the lane. As a matter of fact, he utilized the dribble to create space with that little fan dribble. And right back, he forced a tough shot by Palmer. That's where you want Palmer offensively if you're on the defensive end for the Illini. Bashanishvili for two. Right, Bart stops, stops again, gives it off to Palmer, comes left off the Borkhardt screen, pick and roll, no return pass, it comes to Allen, pull up Jay, tough shot, and it's good. That's a really tough shot. That he was overwhelmed by being honored today. Nebraska by 12. Feliz, a nice find to the cutting Frazier. Doesn't get the roll, does. Right hand, broke verticality. If he'd have gone straight up inside that restricted area, he'd have been okay, but he broke verticality and went a little bit to the right. And once you're in that restricted area, you're... Program, and so far, Sean, off to a 6-1 and one start heading into conference. And, Mike, he's, he's obviously an outgoing guy, a very engaging guy, and I think sometimes people overlook his coaching acumen because... And this is a great example. Four for Watson, not even five full minutes into this second half. Dosumu there. If you're going to come out, you know, Palmer was late getting that hand up, and, and Sumu at, at that 6 5 range is able to shoot over the top. Nana Kenton with a silk. Well, that's game. Yeah, they had to come help him. Nebraska up court with Palmer. And he's fouled on his. Jordan was involved when Watson got whistled for his fourth, and now Jordan has three person foul trouble since. Palmer going with Frazier to that strong or left hand. He's on that side of the floor. He wants it back from Bashanish Billy, who backs down, gets the bucket. Zone defensively able to take advantage. Beginning of the first half and the end of the first half, they haven't been able to get that comfort level here so far in the second stanza. Both teams with six fouls in these first six plus minutes. Frazier into the post. Bashanish Billy. And a foul. Brown. Well, in a span of a couple possessions, he picks up his third foul near midcourt, and now his fourth foul after he missed the shot on the But it's something where you're denying a play to your point by Palmer. Allen's floater, short. Frazier the rebound. Nice defensive sequence by Williams. They tried to get Palmer on the back door, but Williams opened up, took it away. Frazier the long jump. Jordan switches off the ball screen. Roby left alone. Roby muscles it up and will a lot. Greater Big Ten picture with all the experience they bring back. I, I think this is pass. Alan Griffin nearly gave it up. The sumo open. Fouled, it. fouled and the shot. Third foul on Allen. And Dusumu's. Then Nichols has to take that armbar off. 
No foul called. A lot of contact on Frazier's drive. Homer back the other way. He gets wrapped up. Early in the conference season, and opposition got an idea of what they were going to get from. Hey, next on BTN, the doubleheader continues. Jordan Murphy and the Gophers challenge. Palmer off the jab step. Got a three. Wants to get to the rim. Was witnessed by the fact he's 9 of 10 from the line. 50% from deep today has certainly helped his call. Yeah, 20 points on Monday against Clemson. He's got 20 more today. And that Watson is going to get the ball now. He has to be careful. Remember, his fourth foul came on a dribble drive. We drew the charge. Good find to Copeland off the win. Well, he's been quiet with five points. Eight to shoot. Jordan's got it back. Nichols spins into a double. Great find on the cut from by Illinois and the fact that they were able to utilize some zone defense with efficiency in the first half. They've gone to it here in the second. Williams didn't get a clean catch. He does get the clean. That the four fouls of Bashanis Vili, they're gone to the zone defense to maybe try to protect him on this end. Watson a three for the senior from Chicago. It's boosting up a Nebraska offense that hasn't shot it all that well from beyond the arc. Foul underneath. But they get a rebounding foul, and Bashanis Vili will shoot. Illinois, the team has been below 70 percent at the line so far this year. Griffin had it blocked, and the freshman Bashanis kept playing. And even though Griffin wasn't able to convert, he kept it alive for fellow freshman Bashanis Philly to come in and clean it up. There's the Nebraska foul trouble. Watson and Roby both playing with their four. Nine of Palmer's 20 points from the free throw. And 22 points for Palmer today. Gone man. Roby has to understand Bashanis Philly is on him with four fouls. Copeland rises and connects. Police had it pried away by Watson. Roby leads the charge. Roby on the step through on the slam. Roby in the high post. You're saying here you can face up there. Turn and then go down and maybe repost because you've got a distinct size advantage. And on the opposite side, our state farm assist of the game. One of six from two point range, but he has scored in other ways. As we remind you, we got a good one coming up after this one. You heard Mike talk about it. See what the zone defense, look how much loft is underneath these passes. So it's taken away any kind of offensive flow or rhythm. But Nichols there. Watson squirts free to the corner. Round it out. Loose ball to Copeland. Perhaps the exclamation point. Yeah, but now they're going after the ball. Watson went flying by, and the three is down for Allen Grip. Live a few possessions ago. Until Bashana Speedy was able to come in and clean it up. Watson drives in a block. Run right into the block. He didn't. He slid. Thinking that he at home. There's Sumu down the lane. That spins out, but he follows up his miss. A challenge them out of the break. And the Huskers are 1-0 in the Big Ten, 7-1 overall to their best start since 2003.